All right, so the SR3M, it recently got tweaked around a little bit. And before we get into it, right now in the comments, comment what you think. Do you think the SR3M is good in the game? Do you think it's bad? Let me know. We're going to go over these changes and how I think this gun kind of performs in the game now because it did get tweaked to favor it in certain situations versus others. So, like I said, we're going to go over it. But first, we got something special for you today. So, we're doing a giveaway. Like I, I said before, if you're new to the channel, hit that sub button, you know, leave a like. But in the description, in the comments, and you're going to see a, a card on the top of the uh, the screen at the start of the video. We're doing this giveaway. It's free to enter. Anyone can enter for free. But we're giving away uh, merch, Robux, gift cards, all that. So you unlock entries, you fill them all out, you're good to go. Like I said, free to do. Go check it out. But, all right. SR3M. So, what did they do to the SR3M? They increased the damage on it. So, it does 35 damage now. It used to do 34. So, they, they bumped the damage on it only by one. But it does play a big factor into uh, close range gunfights. Um, I'm going to show you my setup. What I think is a really good setup for close range engagements. This probably isn't the best map for it. But, they increased... Nonetheless, they increase damage, um, the max damage. So it's 35. And I, I mean, you consider like the vector, the vector does 30 damage. So it's a, uh, a three hit kill versus a four hit kill. It's honestly, I mean, you, you only have like 200 difference in uh, RPM. So it, it kind of feels like the same. Okay. And they nerfed on it. They nerf the max damage, so it only does 19 damage max range. Um, so long range, it is going to suffer a little bit more than it did. Um, it makes it a six hit kill long range versus five. Just an extra shot. You know, you kind of have to pick your fights with this. But like I said, you gain in close range engagements but you drop in long range so you really got to understand what kind of fights you're getting into you can't go running run around on whatever map and also they increase the recoil on this gun so th this gun does have more recoil than it used to but i mean once i spawn in i'm getting smacked around but once you spawn in i mean this really isn't that bad of recoil it's really controllable it's not bad at all and for being a uh, a thousand RPM, pretty much, and uh, a three hit kill, it's very controllable. It it's really easy to do. Thirty rounds in the mag, uh, it, it's not too too bad. Um, they move the extended mag. This is another big thing, guys. They move the extended mag into the ammo category, so now you can do extended mag and full stock so you get improved accuracy that way and i'm running the muzzle booster right now i go you gain 70 rpm doing that um the suppressor is kind of cool even if you did like muzzle break i mean the thing it, it shoots fast and it has pretty good accuracy i know they they nerfed it but the accuracy is still really good it's super easy to use and you know close range i like using the uh the muzzle booster just for the added uh added time to kill so like i said what do you think of this gun let me know um but hey i really appreciate you guys watching the videos leave a like if you enjoyed subscribe if you're new you know all that stuff we have a discord server you should check that out uh, we stream on Twitch. We're actually streaming right now. This is where I kind of record most of my videos before we even uh, before I upload. Um, you know how it be. But thank you guys so much. I love you guys. Let me know what you think, and I'm out here. Peace.